This morning on today's style, vintage Oscar fashions. Ever since Julia Roberts picked up her first statuette in vintage Valentino, the craze has grown for classic star looks. Elizabeth Mason is owner of The Paperback Princess, one of my favorite books, and a vintage clothing boutique in L.A. and Toronto, and she's also dressed several top-notch celebs. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. Good, morning. Good morning. Before we get started, I have to say, you're wearing a pretty... Uh, neat looking vintage suit right um actually it's a dress it's all in one. Oh, it so is it's not a suit attached. and it's very we were saying it's very lucille ball and in fact it's by one of her favorite designers don loper who in fact designed all her costumes for her show and she used to always ask ricky for a don loper dress which she's always saying they're too expensive you can't have one no so where, so where did you pick that up and what is the provenance if you will um this one actually came to me through a private estate and uh, they had quite a large collection of Don Lopers, a lot of ensemble pieces, jackets with dresses and handbags to match. Well, it's great looking Thank and it look, looks great on you. Tell me how this vintage craze started because I've noticed in magazines when they have all the movie stars in their various gowns, more and more often you're seeing vintage Valentino, vintage Halston. Why did this craze get started? Well, I think initially it really started to snowball when um, celebrities were looking for something a, a little bit different to sort of well they have to fly down the bulls let's say right you know and they want to really catch the public eye and and wear something that makes them stand alone and also uh, ensure that no one else will have the same thing on when right. they walk down the red carpet so you're almost guaranteed when you choose something vintage uh, that it's you'll be the be only a, one in that piece absolutely and also if you want to go something with that that's a true classic that probably can't be ripped apart by fashionistas everywhere, it's right? A little, it, it's a little hard to uh, criticize a vintage dress because it really is something that kind of stands alone and represents a time period. And if you've chosen right and you've got a good piece, then you really can't go wrong. Which designers are more, most popular and I guess most available when it comes to vintage gowns? Uh, the ones that are more popular are the ones that are also in the press a lot more and unfortunately if someone has passed away then everyone kind of starts to scramble looking for their for original pieces. For example, Halston. Halston or on f when Versace passed away there were a lot of people looking for Versace so we got a lot of phone calls world, world over looking for the Versace couture pieces especially. And you get them from estate sales? Um, they come, that's a million dollar question. Yeah, come, where do you get them? Uh, they come from so many different sources. Uh, one of the number one reasons I get so many things just sent to me is because I've written a couple of books and people know me as being the person who can give them the best value for something as well. So I get these unknown boxes that arrive every day and I'm oh, so, now I have to delay gratification. I'll open it later. I've got work to do. But so a lot of things get shipped to me. I get invited to private estates. Certainly uh, world over there are some really terrific auctions here in New York. There's the Doyle auctions, which is fabulous. Right. Important vintage couture. And they must be expensive too, huh? Um, they're not cheap. Well, let's talk about some of them that you brought today. Tell me quickly about this one and then we'll just go down the line. This is something that I did as a redesign. I started with a 1930s piece and then took a brassiere and redesigned and in fact put a new piece underneath that. This was for Helena Christensen for last year's Academy Awards. So this is an updated vintage, this is if an you will. Vintage. All right, let's go to this one. Tell me uh, about this. This was something that came to me in a heap in a plastic bag and it did not look like this. I redesigned this for Maria Bello for the Golden Globes three years ago and we reshaped the waist we cut it down through the neckline we slid it up the back and Do you I feel put that doing that to the designers um, and, and toying with their original designs this didn't have a label uh, it was oh. a couture piece it was made for someone however it didn't and it had good bones but it really needed to be updated because well, you no must be a very talented work. seamstress too um, I have someone wonderful who, who works, works with for you me. here mm -hmm. we can just go this way and you can tell me this once belonged to Deirdre Hall, Deirdre I understand. Hall, and this came through a charity auction. Now, who's fact. the designer of this? Um, this is Ruben Panis. And uh, this was an 80s piece that, in fact, I had to throw the jacket away because it was just too much. Big shoulders up yeah. here. If somebody wanted to buy this, how much would it be, Elizabeth? Um, this runs around 3000 Okay. And finally, this is something you got recently? I just got this one in Toronto at a really, really wonderful estate. And I was so excited to find this. It's a French couture piece, and it's all hand beaded. 
created. And it's someone I've never heard of before from the 60s. It's from a Paris. lot of fun. I it think really it's is. great looking. And finally, before we go, obviously vintage bags and vintage jewelry is still quite popular. And you can get these at often at estate sales, but a lot of people are specializing in this now as well, right? Oh, certainly, especially when it comes to the important jewelry pieces. I have a lot of Miriam Haskell here. This is a gorgeous 50s Miriam Haskell piece. This came, obviously, with this. <laughs> and I That's just can't great. imagine. It has the no. cigarette lighter in it and the lipstick case, the bracelet compact and all that and a little wallet oh it's just so amazing it's just like a little bag of jewels oh it's great well thank you so much for giving us a, a little tour of all the great vintage clothes thank that is out there and you think we'll see a lot of vintage um, at the oscars i can't tell you who's wearing what just yet it's kind of like spilling the beans on someone's wedding dress um but yeah there are some very very important uh celebrities who've selected pieces of mine um i think probably most important names are going to be galanos and christian dior well we and look we'll forward to it. checking them out on the red carpet. Thank you. Thank Elizabeth, you. Thank you so much from the Paperback Princess in Los Angeles and Toronto. And we'll be back with much more right after this.